MQ-25 Stingray is an aerial refueling drone that flew for the first time in September of 2019. The aircraft is a result of the Carrier-Based Aerial Refueling System Program, or CBARS for short. Licensed by the United States Navy to create an unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, for in-air refueling duties to extend the flight time or range of manned fighter aircrafts. The Boeing MQ-25 design is powered by one Rolls-Royce turbofan engine, delivering 10,000 IBF of thrust. This is the variant of the engine used to power the Navy's MQ-4C Triton. The aircraft is less stealthy than other flying wing unmanned air vehicles. However, it does feature a stealthy fuselage shaping. Further, a flush inlet to shield engine blades from radar and a V-tail. The MQ-25 is capable of autonomous takeoff, flight, and landing. While ship-based sailors will use a remote terminal to steer the Stingray on the flight deck and monitor its flight's operations. In 2018, Boeing landed an $805 million development contract to build the MQ-25 Stingray drones, a contract for the United States Navy, with the promise of billions of more dollars as the Navy would be wanting to build out a fleet of 76 of the remote piloted carrier-capable aerial refueling aircrafts. In 2021, UNSI News reported that Boeing's T-1 prototype flew out of Illinois accompanied by a Navy F-A-18F fighter jet. Mid-air, the fighter connected to the drone's fueling hose and received 325 pounds of aviation fuel. However, 325 pounds of aviation fuel isn't a whole lot. In fact, only about 1% of the F-18's total fuel capacity. And with the MQ-25A expected to carry 15,000 pounds of fuel, it will take two of them to fill up an F-18 entirely. But the test flight and mid-air fueling was enough to prove the concept would actually work and advance the T-1 prototype to the next stage of testing. According to the Weapons System Annual Assessment by the Government Accountability's Office, the cost for a full fleet of 76 MQ-25S UAV drones was totaled at 8.8 billion US dollars, resulting in a total program cost of about 11.1 billion dollars, meaning one unit would cost 155 million dollars per single drone. However, according to even more recent weapon systems government assessments that were assessed in 2021, the total development cost had actually declined since the program begun in 2018 and had now come in at only 2.3 billion US dollars. The fact that the purchase price was 12% below initial estimates suggested that Boeing was now in possession of the rarest of franchises in the defense business, a product that costs less than initially advertised. And we can only imagine that this would go really well with the prospects of the Navy ordering up more drone models in the future. And for Boeing, winning the contracts to build them. Brain time. Congratulations, you made it this far in the video. What would you do if I told you you could have 25 years of good luck and all you'd have to do is like this video and also subscribe if you haven't already. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash that like button and you'll get 25 years of good luck. And now, back to the video.
What will the world be like in 50 years? Fast forwarding to the year 2077, but not focusing on any possible post-apocalyptic scenario, however, because truly, I think it's going to be a much happier time period. And not only, but of course, because by then, most humans that could afford the luxury of brain chips would have had the implant procedure done to allow for seamless communication and AR vision, of course. And yes, we're talking about fully functioning brain chips. And of course, because of this new accepted technology, many devices like our $1,000 smartphones and triple thousand dollar laptops with high speed processing RAM and Wi-Fi will become common and affordable as if segregation, depression, and the lower class no longer existed. So I did say at the beginning of this video that we were going to fast forward and not focus on any post-apocalyptic scenario or multiple recessions that happen, which in turn caused the price of living in every area of life to drop significantly in order to keep the economy going, of course. But then how do we not talk about it? Moreover, Mining asteroids will have to become a reality, which will create more jobs in a brand new industry sector here on Earth and in space as well. So that rare earth metals like gallium and germanium will no longer be the topic of trade wars. While the mass production of humanoid robots and our female companion robots will allow for robots to walk among us fully autonomous, some even with giant boobs, human-like skin, and artificial intelligence. Now before you say, hold on, wait a minute, in turn, wouldn't that spell the post-apocalyptic scenario? Because with the mass production of female human-like robots with giant boobs and artificial intelligence, people would stop populating. As if, why try so hard? Or rather, why even bother dating? But that ideology, in turn, would be a good thing. Because in turn, women would be more assertive and more friendly and available due to female human-like robots replacing them in many ways. Which in a bigger aspect will make the entire world a happier place. Yes. This is the year 2077. It's crystal clear how the future in 2077 will be a euphoric technology time period paradise. We just need to accept it.